truth versus myth of healthcare burnout. What's true and what's false? Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Dr. Jessica Louie and I love helping burned out pharmacists and healthcare professionals clear the clutter from their lives, simplify and enjoy making memories with their families outside of what we call this lie of work-life balance. So let's jump in today. Now, if you want all our myths and truths of burnout and ways to reset burnout in your own life, make sure that you click the workshop link below. Remember, it's 10% education and 90% implementation in your own life. So let's tackle the biggest myth of burnout to start with. That burnout is this problem to be solved. It's like we work in healthcare and we want this black and white type of mentality of you come in, you have a diagnosis, you have a disease state, let's go treat that disease state. And we're not solving a problem here that's going to be cured. Burnout is not cured. Burnout and well being are processes. And just like with other processes in our life, we reset them and we build up our muscles and we build up our confidence of how to address them, prevent them in the future. Let's take an example many of us are familiar with. We move our bodies. Some may call this exercise or fitness. And we do that so that we feel good inside. We keep our bodies moving, our bodies working properly to support our body and our mind. And there are various exercises we can do to move our bodies and stay fit, right? Everyone has a lot of different ways to move their bodies, feel fit, invest in different fitness classes. And each of these different types of activities and exercises or classes build up our muscles, build up our cardiac systems in different ways. Fitness and exercise are processes that never end. Right? We don't just suddenly wake up one day and say we're never going to move our bodies again. There's going to be significant negative consequences to that. And it's the same with burnout. We don't wake up one day and say we're never going to think about it or address it again. We continually build up our muscles, just like we build up muscles exercising and fitness-wise. We build up our muscles to prevent burnout, to prevent chronic stress in our lives. So, Myth number one, busted. Burnout is not cured. It is not a problem that we just solve right away. Myth number two, if I'm experiencing burnout, that means I must be lazy at my job. Lazy? Lazy? Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is so not true. Simply put, lazy people don't burn out. Why? Because they're not striving to be better in life, not striving to put the pressure on themselves to show up and do better and be better. They're not criticizing themselves if they don't achieve something. And that means that lazy people don't burn out, right? Lazy people, you know, are in this chill state of life that they won't burn out from. It's the people that are really usually high performers, perfectionists, that are type A, that are putting all this pressure on themselves to be better. And this self-induced pressure and this self-induced guilt is what's leading ourselves to burnout. It's important to note that if you feel burned out right now, you got here because you've been overworking yourself and you are not a failure. It's a consequence of pushing yourself too hard. We are not failures if we are burning out. It's just time for a reset, time for acknowledgement that chronic stress does not serve us. Chronic stress that turns into burnout is not serving our best self or the people around us. And it's time to reset it. Myth number three, you can do it on your own with no help to address your burnout. So why is this a myth? Well, let's think about that. Do the athletes at the highest level of their careers go without a coach? No. Aaron Rodgers, LeBron James, Serena Williams, they all have coaches at the highest level of their professional careers. So why are we, as pharmacists and healthcare professionals, so against coaching, so against investing in ourselves to improve ourselves in a non-biased coaching manner? Let's think about that for a second. We had so many mentors, so many teachers guiding us through lots of education, bachelor degree, doctorate degree, residency, 
fellowship training. Then we got to the top, we made it to being attending or being a board certified critical care pharmacist like myself. And then no more coaches, no more people trying to help us become better in our lives, acknowledging that we're pushing ourselves too hard. Let's think about that for a second. So you probably hired a coach sometime in your life, whether that's a coach for tennis or a new hobby or some other type of fitness type of modules, right? So why are we backing away from hiring a coach to better ourselves in our lives? A burnout coach. You may have also hired a business coach if you're a fellow entrepreneur like myself. I hesitated and hesitated to hire a business coach. It transformed my life. A burnout coach or a life coach can transform your life too. So these are the myths of burnout we talked about today. If you want all the myths about burnout and ways to start resetting it in your own life, be sure to click the workshop link below to get the help that you need and the investment you need in your life right here, right now. Now, make sure you're also watching these videos on what is burnout, stress versus burnout, and are they the same, my friends? Until next time, spark joy.